Hey, what's up, Reverse? So this is going to be a video for the Bengai Cardinal fish I picked up about three weeks ago from Peco. Yes, from Peco. Uh, so if you don't know, Peco has a pretty bad reputation when it comes to saltwater fish, and it has been the butt of a lot of jokes on like forums and stuff like that. But um, the one on Brafio Pike in Maryland, um, they they were doing a pretty decent job recently. Um, I have not seen a lot of dead fish. I mean, there there is from time to time, as a given, because it's such a big store. Um, but if the fish were uh, relatively healthy, including a tank full of um, Bengai Cardinal fish that I saw. And what's more, they were actually running a 30% off uh, promotion for the saltwater fish department. So these guys were originally about $15 per fish, which is super cheap already. Uh, it brings them down to about $11 per fish. And these were um, aquacultured fish, so they're not wild caught, which is amazing. Um, as you can see, they are kind of feeding aggressively. I have not fed the tank yet. They're just seeing things floating by and they're sampling them. And that's actually one of the major issues with these um, Bengai cardinal fish, is weaning them onto prepared food. Now these guys have no issue with frozen mices. They would take them all day if I keep feeding them. But I've been trying to wean them on the flake and it has been a, it has been a journey, although a short one so far. And what I have planned next is that I actually order some, um, I think it's called a coral frenzy uh, flake food, a powder food. Um, I believe it's from the same company from, that made uh, Cyclopedia. I'm not positive, but they marketed it as um, coral food. But some fish will go crazy over them as well. So I'm hoping that those food will kind of entice my Bengai cardinal fish to try like food different from Phosomyces and that will open the door to uh, eventually fe feeding flake of pellets. But we'll see, we'll see as it goes. A little bit about these fish. These guys are still relatively young, um, but as they get older, they have a tendency to kind of pair off and drive away other Bengai cardinal fish. So when they're young, they, they would like shoal together. You know, you see a small group swimming among um, maybe like a sea urchin spines for protection. But as they mature, they'll pair off and drive all other fish away, or all other um, cardinal fish away. So my hope here is that out of the three, I would get a male and female pair. Um, and we'll have a loner. And at that time, I'm probably gonna trade the loner or give him away or her away. Uh, and there's supposed to be a way to kind of tell male to female based on the jaw size and the banner size of the banner fin. Um, People are saying that the male have a more square or stronger looking jawline because the male are supposed to um, hold eggs for brooding. But honestly, I can't tell, so I'm just buy three and hope that I'll get a pair. And great, now they're all swinging to the back. <laughs> Over the back. Uh, look at them. Anyways, I, so I attempted um, Bengai Cardinal Fish before in my um, older reef tank, the 60 gallon and fell pretty miserably. They, I also got three and they all disappeared within two weeks. I have a suspicion that they maybe fell into my anemones um, or maybe my clownfish dragged them in, I don't know. So well, so far these guys look really lively and they're kind of just king of the tank because I mean they're the only fish here. And they really came out of the shell. Um, the last couple of weeks, they've just been hiding behind that big rock right there um, whenever I approach a tank. And I guess now they associate me with food or at least know that I'm not there to hurt them. So they actually swim up front when I'm here, which is great. You know, trust, right? Or desensitization. Um, so that's pretty much it. They are relatively easy to take care of except for the feeding habits which is frozen mices. That takes a little that takes a little bit more effort. Um, but otherwise, I really like how they look. I like the way they swim. I like how they school together, at least shore together, at least initially. Um, and I f they're really peaceful fish. Oh, actually, you know what? They were kind of chasing each other a little bit. So I think they're a great first fish to add to a tank once this tank is cycled and stabilized. Definitely not the fish for cycling. Actually, I, I don't think any fish should be used for cycling the tank, but that's for, that's another topic. But uh, just a quick little video of the 
Bang guy caught another fish that I picked up from Peckle. Doing really well. Looks really healthy. So far, knock on wood. And I'm in the process of trying to wean them onto uh, actually any food besides uh, frozen rices. I even tried Rod's food with no luck, believe it or not. Alright, since they're all kind of a little bit far and out of focus, I guess I'll end the video right here and feed the fish. Oh uh, look, they're here to say hi or say bye. Um, I might name them um, X, Y, and Z. How cool is that, huh? Nah, I know it's kind of dirty. But yeah, they've been awesome. I've just been like sitting and staring at the tank, just look at them interacting with each other. Such an old man. I think they're waiting for food. <laughs> Alright guys, signing off.